Competition is really the essence of what makes a capitalist economy work and uh, is not necessarily ownership, is not necessarily incentives, is really competition. And I think that uh, we have lost a bit this uh, uh, appreciation in uh, the current debate and I think it is important to understand how this is important to make uh, our current system work concentration in the United States over the last 20 years has increased. Now, what does that mean? Uh, people are divided. And uh, yeah. even if uh, competition is okay from a product market point of view, even if prices are low, concentration can lead to distortion, for example, in regulation and, and entry. So uh, the best example is, uh, is Google. Google has an enormous amount of concentration. Um, sells its services at zero price uh, to most of us, um, but has an enormous power on regulating uh, privacy, uh, data, and stuff like that. So is that a problem or not? And I think an increasing number of people in academia start to say, yes, it is a problem. It's also true that the monetary price that we pay for Google services zero is also true that we give a lot of data in exchange. So the, the zero price is fictitious because we pay a cost and a pretty significant cost that's to do with our privacy. Today, there are a lot of property rights that uh, are not well allocated or are allocated by default to, in my view, the wrong side. So um, let me take a positive example. Uh, we're all familiar with what it is number portability. Uh, you can switch your phone provider um, within three hours at no cost for you. Uh, what is the number portability? It's a definition of property rights. The phone number belongs to you, not to the company. Uh, and that definition enhances competition greatly. Uh, but what about uh, your bank account? Um, today is a pain to change uh, which bank you deal with, because you have to reroute uh, your check, account, your mortgage, your, uh, lots of things. If you own that number and you can switch uh, from one bank to the other, we will see a lot of uh, more bank competition. So do you call that regulation, do you call that definition of property rights that enhances uh, competition? And so I think that uh, technology has created a lot more of uh, intangible assets that need to be properly defined. And the, and the property over those assets need to be properly defined. In, you can challenge monopoly. And so if, if there is a, a, a Department of Justice or a Federal Trade Commission uh, more aggressive in defining what it is a monopoly, what it is a market power, and ready to break up uh, firms like uh, um, it was in uh, the time of uh, Rockefeller, and uh, honestly, it was pretty close at the time of Microsoft. Uh, people don't fully appreciate that the reason why we have Google and Facebook today is because there was an antitrust enforcement against Microsoft that slowed down the ability of Microsoft to monopolize also uh, the internet, the browsers, the, the data search, and so on and so forth. And so uh, the, today's monopolies are yesterday's startups. And uh, in a good system, this keeps changing. Uh, a system where this does not change is a system that is uh, fossilized and uh, is a system that uh, hurts everyone.